The Inorad's Max is rated in two burner, coupled with the Max Saver Recuperator. The Inorad and the Max Saver incorporate our offering for the rating tube burner industry. The Inorad is mostly used in the heat treat business on, on atmosphere furnaces where they want indirect heating to do heat treating functions. They sometimes are also used in salt baths and indirect air heating applications, but by far the primary use of the Unirad is heat treat furnaces. Unirad has two major league benefits. One of the things that the Unirad has is the unique style of sparking. We have what we call plasma ignition. And we spark right out the tip of the nozzle with a very high intensity 10 kV source. That spark has a big area of operation. There's really no electrode to wear away. Most Radiant tube burners have a discrete spark plug system. The Unirad does not. Our unique spark system is so durable, it can operate for months, even years, without any maintenance whatsoever. The Unirad is best operated on-off. The problem with firing on-off in a heat treat furnace is getting reliable ignition week after week, month after month, year after year. The Unirad is unique that we are able to operate on off because of our very reliable sparking system. The person who really benefits from the Unirad operation firing on off is the end user. There's no doubt about that. On off firing on these burners uh, allows us to set them easier. When Radiant 2 burners can be fired on off, there is only one point where the burner is adjusted and that's high fire because the other condition is totally off. What the end user benefits from is uh, spending less time and less frequent maintenance on burner setup. The second place the end user benefits is from increased tube life generally. Now it's hard to quantify how much more tube life you'll get with the Unirad burner but we have a lot of customers out there who tell us that times two times three tube life. Twice the tube life is not unusual. Here are the main connection points and important parts of the Unirad burner primary air connection, sight glass and location for optical scanner, main gas connection. Viewed from the rear, primary air connection, in the center is the optical scanner and sight glass, main gas connection on the left. Alternate location for primary air, burner nozzle, and air housing. Here we have a Unirad burner on the bench, exposed so we can see all of the main parts, and we're going to do a very quick teardown so you can see what some of the internals look like. There's the high voltage connection, and now we're going to remove a retainer plate which holds in place the large ceramic disc that isolates once again the 10 kV from the rest of the housing. And in order to get that disc out we have to remove this the stem itself and a lock nut that, that uh, acts as a retainer. Once these parts are removed the ceramic disc can be taken out of the burner. And we can look down inside the burner and you can see the connection point to the center rod, which is the gas nozzle that goes all the way out to the tip. Once we remove this, the center rod connection for the spark plug, we will take off the rest of the flanges and we will show you some of the other ceramic parts. This is the back plate. It retains some other ceramic parts to hold the nozzle. We remove the four bolts. 
The ceramic parts are used to isolate the 10,000 volt electrified gas tube from the rest of the burner housing. We take off the rear flange and the gasket. And when this gasket is removed, it exposes the first of a series of three discs. The first disc is a small bore. The middle disc is a large bore. And the third disc is removed. It is actually part of the gas nozzle assembly. And it's extracted from the burner. When you remove the nozzle from the burner, sometimes there are two square-shaped ceramic fittings which stay inside the burner that you have to fish out. And there you have all the working internals of a Unirad burner. On a per-zone basis for the Unirad, the gas to a zone is controlled by what we call a zone regulator. It's a regulator that establishes some pressure, uh, typically uh, a half to three quarters of a pound. That pressure is sent straight to each burner, and the flow at each burner is determined by, by a custom drilled orifice. Uh, that orifice is sized at the time of order. So when the burner is operated, all we do is, via a solenoid, turn that gas on and off. That's the gas side. Okay. Each burner in the zone has its own limiting air valve, and that's how we do final set on the burner. Just, just one setting when the burner's on high fire. I've had customers tell me that they spend between five and 10 minutes per burner either checking them or adjusting them, and that's it. So it's fair to say that if you've got a 30 burner furnace, that you can go through and check every burner on there in two to three hours. There's as many different ways to mount Unirad burners as there are probably people who want to mount them. But let's talk about the classic method. Classic method of the Unirad is to use Maxon parts that we supply uh, in air housing, which is connected to our recuperator. And then the end user, uh, usually uh, on a conversion job, will provide some sort of transition housing around the recuperator. Some customers want to use special housings around the recuperator manufactured by Maxon Corporation. That's an option. Another option for Max and Unirad is the all-in-one housing. Quite simply what this is, it's a welded fabrication that is refractory lined, covering the burner and the recuperator side so that the transfer of the preheated air from the exhaust side of the tube over to the burner never sees the light of day. Major benefit, uh, cleans up the piping on the front of the furnace the front of these furnaces run a whole lot cooler with the all-in-one. The MaxSaver Recuperator has a couple of features that are worthy of note. The MaxSaver is of simple construction, simple YouTube construction. It is uh, extremely low cost. It seems to be durable over time. So those two things balanced off. Uh, good low cost, durability over time, give a good value in a recuperator. Let's go through a sample cycle. With a Unirad burner operated in the on-off firing mode, we start with a furnace at rest, no power applied. When power is applied to the combustion air blower, it goes all the way to the control valve, the pressure switch in the control valve is made and energized. Ignition or primary air is delivered to each of the burners. Because the combustion air switch is made, gas is supplied all the way to the solenoid valve. Upon a call for heat, the air control valve goes to the open position and supplies combustion air all the way down the main gas header. Combustion air continues on each of the legs to the individual burners and proof of combustion air switch on the top of the header is energized. The energized combustion air switch supplies power to the main gas control solenoid valve and gas is supplied to each of the burners and they begin to fire at maximum fire rate and begin to pick up a little bit of heat at the recuperators and the burners continue to operate with this high temperature preheated air until the temperature control says turn off and there begins a cycle of combustion air on gas on, and then combustion air off, gas off. Combustion air on, gas on, 
and then combustion air off, gas off. This is a typical cycle of the Unirad, fired on off. There are a lot of special accessories that Maxon can provide. In fact, uh, we recommend strongly that you use some of our accessories for the preferred method of on-off. Uh, two important things that Maxon Corporation should provide. One is the spark ignition transformer. Uh, Maxon uses a special 10 kV epoxy fill transformer that can provide long, continuous duty life. The second thing we recommend, uh, we use a very high, re highly reliable control valve that when you're turning these burners on and off, uh, this air control valve can go lock to lock in less than one second and is durable. It can operate many of the cycles without servicing or maintenance. Some of the other accessories that we can supply for a Unirad system on the air side would include limiting orifice valves, combustion air blowers, and all pressure switches. On the gas side of things, we can supply regulators, solenoids, gauges, gas cocks, and lubricated gas cocks. One of the most durable burners around, and one of the most trouble-free burners around. Time spent on maintenance, time spent on repair parts, big money time taken away from the bottom line. The Unirad burner is in a class of its own in terms of durability and ability to operate year after year without maintenance.